Hello, hello, hello to all my uniques out there. This is your favorite girl, Akudo. Welcome to your unique wisdom. For this week, we are going to talk about I am not a psychic. That's our topic. I am not a psychic. Are you? Are you a psychic? Who is a psychic? What do they do? What roles do they play in our relationship? To all my returning subscribers, hello and welcome back. To those of you that are not part of my family, you see the subscribe button, click on that button, wait for the notification bell, click on that one too, so you'll be the first to see my video once they drop. Now, let's jump right into it. From Atlanta, Georgia. Atlanta, Georgia. Beautiful. Beautiful. Wonderfully Wonderful. made by God. Welcome to the picture. Marriages are experiencing a lot of stress right now because of this idea of you are a psychic. You are a psychic. My sister, my brother, grab your seat. Come closer to the table. Let's talk. Your wife is not a psychic your husband is not a psychic we, they are ordinary human beings that do not see the future they don't know what you're thinking they don't know what happened at your job they cannot read meaning into what is going on in your life until you tell them i don't think i have seen any psychic that can tell you the future except two that i know the holy spirit and God himself. <laughs> if your wife is not the Holy Spirit and your wife is not God, then my brother, take a chill pill. My sister, take a chill pill and don't put that kind of pressure on your spouse. Okay? People love each other and people live together as husband and wife. But it comes at a point when we don't communicate with each other and we begin to put the pressure on the other, thinking the, pre the other should look at my face and read my feeling. I'm married to Nelson, okay? And then I think, oh, if I stay like this and don't talk, Nelson should figure out that I'm mad or Nelson should figure out that I had a bad day. How do you expect him to do that? You sit at the corner, you cross your leg, you're pouting. How do you expect your husband to figure out that something is wrong with you? Men are not built that way. A woman, maybe. A woman will not figure out what is wrong. But a woman will look at your face and notice that it's not as bright as it used to be. You are not smiling. You are not happy. And a woman will approach you and say, honey, what's wrong? How was your day? What's wrong? Most men will do that, but majority of the men don't because they are not wired that way. If you're quiet and you're sitting down there, maybe looking at TV like this, your husband might think, oh, she's having a quiet time. <laughs> she's having a quiet time over there. He might not understand that you're angry or you're pouting or you're mad. He cannot just look at your face and predict, oh, guess what? Maybe she had a bad day. So please... If you didn't hear anything I'm saying tonight, I want you to hear this. Stop putting this pressure on your spouse like they are psychic, like they are the Holy Spirit, like they are Jesus, like they are God. They are neither the Holy Spirit, neither are they Jesus, neither are they God. Now, let's define who is a psychic. Let me read the definition. All this I get from Google. The definition says... A psychic is a person who claims to use extrasensory perception to identify information. A person that uses extrasensory perception to identify information hidden from the normal senses. They identify information with extrasensory perception of information that is hidden from the normal person, from the normal eyes. That means they can look at you and know what is going on in, with you, what happened at your job, what you're going through, only by looking at you. Okay? It says, particularly when it involves telepathy. Okay? They say it involves telepathy or clairvoyance 
or who performs acts that are apparently by natural laws. Your, excuse me. Your husband cannot use extrasensory perception to pull out information that are hidden from you. Neither can your wife do that. So now that we know this, that that woman is not a psychic and that man is not a psychic, what is our solution? Our solution is communication, communication, and communication. <clears throat> My dear uniques, it is high time we begin to say what we mean and mean what we say. If you are angry, say you are angry. If you don't like something your spouse is doing, your partner, whoever, your lover, tell them, I don't like this. Stop doing this. Look at how this makes me feel. When you talk to me like this, it makes me feel like I'm a nobody. You talk down at me, you yell at me. I don't feel good when you do that. Stop doing that. Pouting about it, crying about it, not saying anything and thinking he's going to automatically figure it out. It's not going to happen. Screaming at her, intimidating her and thinking that she's going to understand it. Bro, it's not going to happen. You have to talk. You have to communicate. You have to say how you feel. You have to say what you like and what you don't like for this relationship to stand the test of time. And I always tell you, my unique, any communication, whether verbal or non-verbal, verbal are the ones you say with your mouth. Non-verbal are the ones you say with your facial expression, your body language, and your hand gestures. Those are the non-verbal. The way you roll your eyes, the way you talk to the hand, the way you walk away, the way you shrug your finger, your shoulder, the way you sigh, those are all non-verbal. So whether you are doing a verbal or a non-verbal, make sure that your verbal communication goes through these three doors. I call them the three doors of communication. Is it true? Is it kind? Is it necessary? Okay? Even though you're going to communicate, make sure you're telling your wife, your husband, the truth. That thing you're about to say, is it the truth? And nothing but the truth. Is it kind? Don't say what you know if somebody says to you, it's going to hurt your feelings. And finally, is it necessary? If you give her that information, is it going to hurt her or is it going to make her happy? Is it going to make her a better person or is it going to destroy her? Is it going to make her stand or is it going to pull her down? Is it going to inspire her or is it going to destroy her? If what you're about to say is not truthful, is not kind to her and is not necessary, then my brother, keep your peace. My sister, if what you're about to tell that man is not true, is not kind, is not necessary, cease, keep your peace. So those are the three doors of communication I'm telling you. Those are the three unique doors of communication. Before you communicate verbally with your husband, your wife, your lover, your partner, is it kind, is it, is it the truth, and is it necessary? Now we have gotten that out of the way. Now let's talk about some of the criteria that you need to consider when you're trying to communicate with your spouse, knowing that she's not a psychic and you are not a psychic.